Gotti. I'm the chair of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital. The, the song that you just heard is wave after wave, and you see wave of uh, patients in the emergency room, wave after wave. And, you know, it's amazing. I go in sometimes, you know, I'm fortunate that I don't have too many patients coming to the emergency room. But you're going to find your patient, and you see wave of patients, like, waiting. Some of them have been there for eight hours. And I think our emergency rooms are just getting to be too much, and it's not a place to really go unless you really have to. So we have uh, Mr. Elon Katz. Elon, uh, good morning. How are you? Well, well, good morning. How are you? Thank you for being here. Am I pronouncing your name uh, correctly, Elon? Yes. You so are. were you born here or in Israel? I was born in Israel. So you speak Hebrew well? Um, yeah, I mean, I, for, I forgot already most of it, but yeah, I still speak. Yeah, you can I, say Boker Tov. You. you can say Boker Tov and Naim Od. <laughs> Naim Od, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I actually have. Yeah, uh, I've words. been very much involved in Israel because, as you know, I brought robotic surgery uh, to Israel. I was the first one who brought uh, wow. Da Vinci surgery to uh, Tel Hashomer and to Rambam and did the, some of the first robotic prostate surgeries in Tel Aviv and many other places. And wow. uh, I, I, as you know, in the last few uh, years, now we have a lot more um, robots in Israel. So that's why when I said, when I heard Elon, and I have a lot of friends by that name. Well, thank you for being here. Um, thank you. Tell me about this uh, uh, urgent care that are almost popping out everywhere. What's the reason behind it? And, and uh, what's, how did you get involved with this? I mean, I think, it, like you, you mentioned earlier, the, um, the, there, is, there is a trend, there is a need for um, uh, extended hours for, for it's essentially uh, you know, emergency room physicians that uh, got into the field. It's been around for about 30, 35 years probably. But it's uh, with, with the um, shortage of primary care physicians out there, and you have these, you know, uh, extended hours that are offered just almost not an emergency room, but seven days a week and from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., um, you know, seven days, 365 days a year. Um, and the concept that, behind this is, you know, first of all, what type of patients do you expect to come to this kind of urgent cares? We have anywhere from uh, um, from a, an acute issue to uh, people coming and can't see their primary care for 30 weeks. They need a Zithromax, a uh, Z-Pack. You just can't see a doctor. Um, so we have all. We have lacerations. We have fractures. We have x-ray insight. Um, doctors look at our board certified. Partners are uh, veterans in emergency room and actually in Hackensack. What for now, what, um, what kind of doctors are actually in these urgent cares? Are do you have specialties? Are there primary cares? Are there? Uh, no. I mean, do you have like I'm a urologist, so uh, okay. if somebody will come in and they see blood in urine, um, what happens with that? They um, well, uh, right. Our, our doctors there are either emergency board certified emergency medicine or family practice. Um, we have a, a, a lab on site. Well, uh, and uh, mo most likely we, we do have a strong referral source uh, with other physicians, with specialists, with primary care, urologists like yourselves or anybody else that they need, and we we'll probably send it out. And uh, 